Thursday and today's video class is I don't mean to brag but it's going to be great it's very interesting and guess why because today I'm going to teach you guys how to create different kinds of tips the tips that everyone is asking for the tips that are in style just using a squared one it's going to be super easy and super quick but 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 before we start the video class, I want to ask you guys a huge favor. If you want me to teach you how to make the same nail tips but with a sculpting technique in next week's video class, you have to like and share this video. If I see a lot of action, I promise next week you'll get the same tips but sculpted. So let's get started with our square tip which is the simplest and easiest kind of tip. We usually find these tips everywhere since they're most common and so all we really need to make sure when using this kind of tip is that when we file the sides or the laterals, our file is completely vertical and just like I'm doing here, when we file the top part of the nail, it should be in a perfectly horizontal position. Usually our files have a colored line in the middle which helps us with that. I also recommend you to file the lower laterals or sidewalls just like this, keep them straight. This will help you get rid of all that awful curvature that some tips have. You know that they kind of make them look like claws. So now your square tip is going to look beautiful and remember to always make sure that the tip is the exact same width as your natural nail so it doesn't look all bell shaped. Up next, the almond shaped tip. Oh my god, I absolutely love this tip. It's beautiful and it looks very natural. What we're going to do is lean our file at a slight angle like I'm doing here. And we are going to start to file little by little and you'll start to see how the laterals start to kind of fold towards the middle. But we are going to round them off like I'm doing here. So we make them nice and curved and we are also going to file from underneath from the lower laterals or sidewalls. Follow them with a nice curve. Now, on the very tip, we are going to round it off a little bit. If you notice, it's not exactly a pointy nail, so we file it little by little until we get this nice oval shape that resembles an almond. Ergo, the name, almond shaped. I love it! <laughs> so as you can see here, curved laterals and curved tip. On to the next! Ballerina or coffin nails. This tip is really in style. So many people have asked me about it since it's been a major trend since last year. So what we're going to do is we are going to file it just like we did with the almond tip on the last nail. So you see the curved laterals as well as the curved sidewalls. And the only difference is that the very tip of the nail is entirely straight. So this is how we get our coffin or ballerina shape tip. It looks beautiful. Next, stiletto. Oh my god, this nail shape is super glamorous. Okay, so you can use a set of manicure scissors or you can just use your nail file. And yes, I know my nail is looking a little bit of a mess right now, but don't worry, once I file it, it'll be perfect. So what we're gonna do is file the sides of the tip towards the center nice and straight. You can actually do it in two different ways, straight filing or curved filing like I'm doing here. I personally, and due to the size of this tip, prefer the curved filing. But if you want to, you can go straight and shape it like the tip of a nail. So as you can see, unlike the other nails, this one has a very, very pointy tip. See? It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the stiletto shape. Ta-da! All set. Curved sides, pointy tip. Up next, the round tip. This nail shape is very classic, and what we are going to do is get rid of the corners of the square tip, and we are going to round it off little by little. So if you notice, the tip is just as wide as a natural nail. So you're going to round off the laterals or the sides, especially when you get closer to the tip of the nail. See? So we can do it all just with a file, and here's some advice. To make sure that it's nice and round, lean the file towards you, and you'll be able to curve that tip very nicely. Super easy, don't you think? So you can get these five different nail shapes from a square tip. I really hope you enjoyed this piece of information and if you did, make sure to be a good person and share it with your colleagues. <laughs> Here's hoping you put these techniques into practice. They're really not that hard and you can do them in a heartbeat. Love you, Creatists. See you next time. Bye. Bye.